Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to explore a fantastic new feature in Photoshop 2024. Have you ever wished you could create your own custom presets? Well, now you can. Let's dive in and see how this exciting new feature can elevate your Photoshop experience. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today I want to share with you how we can create our own custom presets right here in Photoshop 2024. This is an exciting new feature. You'll find this in the latest version of Photoshop 2024. Now, if I come up here to the Photoshop menu and click on Photoshop 2024, it might be different on Windows where you find this. I'm going to click About Photoshop, and you'll notice I have the latest update, 25.5.0. So this is the update that gives you the ability to create your own adjustment presets. So make sure you have this update or you won't be able to do this. If you're not finding the adjustments icon, what you need to do is come up to Window and you're gonna find adjustments, click on that, and then your adjustments panel will come up. Now, what I like to do is dock it over here in Photoshop so it's there all the time. So see this double arrow right here, give that a click, that'll just close the panel. And you see this little thin line across there? Click and drag this, and then you could dock it anywhere you want to here in Photoshop. Like, I'm gonna put mine right here. And now when I click on it, you'll see there is my adjustments panel. And I want you to note right here, we have adjustment presets. Now these are Photoshop adjustment presets right here. And if you hover over these presets, you could see your image change, which is really nice. And this is a great feature. You'll be able to do this when you add your own custom presets. If you click more, you could see all the different categories we have here, like portraits, landscape. And if you click on the arrow, you can open this up. Like there's color pop. There's pop, warm contrast, faded, black and white. So we have different things that we could do here. And then to add that adjustment, you just click on it. But I'm gonna save that for our own preset adjustments. But let me go right here. See where it says back to view all. We're gonna click right here. And then down here under this group, single adjustments. This is where you just add any type of an adjustment layer that you want just by clicking on it. And if you click this down arrow, you can close that group. And right here, adjustment presets. If I click this down arrow, I can close that group. But right here is your presets. Now you can close this group too by clicking on it or click it again. And now that's opened up. Now this says create your own presets. First add adjustments to your project. Then choose the adjustments you want from the layers panel and select plus which is this plus right here. Now let's go ahead and make our first preset and I'll show you how this is done. Now you'll notice right over here in my layer stack, one's levels, one's a curves adjustment, and one's a hue saturation. So let me turn on the first levels layer and I'll show you what I'm doing here. What I'm doing with this levels is, see this mid-tone adjustment slider here? I just drug it to the left a little bit just to bump up the mid-tones a little bit. And the next layer is a curves adjustment layer. So let me click on that. And now let me click right here and turn this layer on. The little eyeball shows up here letting you know that layer is turned on. Now all I'm doing here is I have a nice little contrast curve here. So if I shut this layer off, there's before and there's after. So it's adding some contrast. But I want you to note, I'm only at an opacity of 50%. So this is where I want to have my starting point for this preset. A decent amount of contrast, but I'm pulling it back to 50%. So this way, I can always come and add more contrast or take the opacity to the left and add less contrast. But this will be my starting point. So, so far, I have a levels adjustment just to bump up the midtones. I have a curves adjustment to add contrast. And then also note, I have this hue saturation adjustment layer. Let me go ahead and turn it on. You won't see a change here because I haven't done any adjustments. This is solely here for the purpose of controlling saturation. In other words, if I get too much saturation after I've increased the contrast with the curves adjustment, because it's natural to get an increase in saturation whenever you bump up your contrast. So if I have a problem, this is only here for control, the hue saturation adjustment layer. In other words, I could pull back on the saturation, give it more saturation. I can also work with the target tool. So if I click on this target tool, I could come here and maybe increase the saturation in the water or decrease it, or maybe increase the saturation of the color of the bear like so. So it gives me a lot of control and I can click this button to reset it. Now remember, I'm building a preset. So with this preset, I'm lightening midtones, I'm increasing contrast, 
and I'm also giving myself a hue saturation adjustment layer so I can control in case I get too much saturation after increasing that contrast. Now just to reiterate, these are just adjustment layers and you can add adjustment layers by coming over to this adjustments panel, clicking the drop down, choosing any adjustment layer you want here or else you could come down here in Photoshop, click this icon and you'll find all your adjustment layers in here as well. And if you have the uh, TK9 multi-mask panel, you could go ahead and find adjustment layer icons here. So there's all kinds of different ways of adding adjustment layers in Photoshop. Now that I've got my layer set up for the preset, what we need to do is, and this is very important and don't mess up here. You can see I have the hue saturation layer selected, but I also need these two layers selected. So I could command or control click on each one of these layers and add them to the selection. See how they become highlighted or I'll command control click again to deselect these two. Now the top layer is selected, but here's the way I like to do it. Hold your shift key down and then click on the last layer you want to include and it'll select all three of these and that's the way i like to do it now that we have these all three selected we could come over here to adjustments to this adjustments panel and if your presets aren't open click on the arrow to open up those presets and click this plus and then create adjustment preset this dialog box comes up click on preset one and give it a name i'm going to call this one lighten Midtones, contrast. I could type increase contrast, but I'll know what that means. And then saturation control. And then simply click save, and that saves out your preset. See it right there? And now that I've saved out that preset, let me go ahead and delete these layers. They're already selected, so I'll just click on my trash can, and those layers are gone. Now, check this out. If I hover over this preset, we get a preview of what this preset will do. And if I like it, all I need to do is click on that preset. And now I have a group called light and midtones, contrast and saturation control. And there are my three layers, levels, curves, and hue saturation. And all the adjustments I made will be there. So if I click on levels, you'll notice there's my levels adjustment. Now I could further work on this. If I drag this to the left, I can lighten up the midtones more. Or if I drag it to the right, I can darken up the midtones. I could come to this second layer, the curves layer, which is my contrast layer, and you'll notice there's my opacity at 50%. So now I can come and drag this opacity slider to the right and maybe increase that opacity some more. And then I could come to the hue saturation adjustment layer, which I know is there for control. And so if I feel the saturation got increased too much, I could maybe pull back in that saturation a little bit like that. And then maybe I could come and click on the target tool, click and drag to the right by selecting the water and maybe make that water a little bit more on the blue side. So there you go. It's pretty nice. Now we could save this preset or if we have a bunch of presets, we could save all the presets. All you need to do is come to a preset click the three dots, and if you wanna rename it, click here. You can delete it. You can export just that preset, or if you come here and click export all presets, whatever presets you have in your presets, you'll save them all out. That way you can save them as a backup or do with them whatever you want. I did make some presets, and next I'll show you how I can import them into my presets. For now, I'll delete this preset. So click in the three dots and click on delete preset, and then you have to click delete to delete it. I'll go ahead and drag this group down to the trash can and we'll just get rid of that whole entire group. And now let me show you how to import presets. To import presets, what you need to do is come up to the adjustment panels, hamburger menu and click on that. And then you're gonna find as you go down the list here, import presets, so click on that. And then your file browser will open up and then just point it to where your presets are stored. In my case, mine are found in Photoshop presets and here it is right here, Photoshop Adjustment Presets. And it's a .psap file, so just you could click on it or double click it. If you just click on it, you'll have to click open or you could double click it. And then all your presets come in. It says new presets have been successfully imported. So that's pretty cool. And here are my presets right here. Now, when you see this more right here, that means you have some more presets. So just click that 
and all the other presets will open up that you've created. Now let's say you've just created a bunch of presets for yourself and now you want to save these out as a backup. Just hover over any one of the presets and click on the three dots and then you would click export all custom presets. Your file browser comes up and just point it to where you want to save them and click save. It's just that simple. And now all you have to do is hover over any preset and you can see the effect that you're going to get when you hover over those presets. So pretty cool stuff. And when you want to use one, just click on it. Like I'll click on this one, slight contrast increase. And there you can see there's the slight contrast curve right there. Let me shut this group off. There's before and there's after. And then you can add more presets, whatever you want to do. But this is really a nice feature. And let me know what you think about the ability to save your own custom presets in Photoshop. Let me know in the comments section below. Now, before I go, let me give you a little tip. You can work with layer masks here too. Let's say for instance, I want to darken the background water. So here's what I can do. I could come up to select and select my subject, but I really want the background. So if you hold down your shift, command or control and I for invert, you'll invert the selection. And now when you hover over like darken, See how it's only darkening the background? And notice another thing, the marching ants go away when I hover over that. So you can see what effect you're getting. So if I just want to darken my background, I could go ahead and click darken. And now it adds the layer mask to the group and I'll shut this layer off. There's before and there's after. Now take note, this is a curves adjustment layer set to the multiply blend mode at an opacity of 20%. So if I want that background to go darker, I can drag the layer opacity slider to the right to make that background go darker or to the left to make it go lighter, whatever I want. I'm really enjoying these custom presets here in Photoshop and I think it'll really speed up our workflows. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Well, there you go, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Now you know how to make your own custom presets right here in Photoshop 2024. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.